Maybe it's happened to you. You're in the shower or getting dressed and you look down and you see a little dick and it's all swollen and engorged with blood. And you freak out and you tell someone, I have a little dick on me and I want your help getting it off. I want you to grab this little dick as close to my skin as possible and pull on it slowly but firmly until it all comes out. And then you take that dick to the doctor and you show them and you ask, is this little dick dangerous? They'll tell you, there are two main kinds of dicks, soft dicks and hard dicks, and there are many diseases they can carry. But it is Lyme disease that is the most common and widespread in the world. The dicks responsible for the spread of Lyme are a few species of very similar hard dicks in the genus Ixodus. But before you start throwing blame around, you should know that it's complicated. It's a story with blood, saliva, small rodents, everything you need for a good bedtime read. And here is where it starts, because mama ticks cannot give it to their babies. So at this point in her life, she could give you a good sucking and you wouldn't get it. Yes, it sounds rude, but it is a sucking, isn't it? Because Tina is a parasite that specializes in eating blood. And she can't help that. Even if she wanted an avocado from Mexico, she couldn't eat it. Not with her crazy ass mouth parts. Sorry, not with her crazy ass mouth parts. We'll get to that in a minute, but first. Sorry, but first. Jerry, you have to proofread these. But first, how does little Tina acquire the Lyme bacteria in the first place? Or do anything, for that matter. 